So maybe um, first we could have uh, you both introduce yourselves with your name and I guess what you're doing in your time or what you do. Um, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, my name's uh, Stuart Smith. My, uh, we're from a company from. I'll start again. Uh, <laughs> my name's Stuart Smith. I'm from a company called Bathosphere, and uh, we're here together as uh, our act called Threep, and uh, we're working on various sort of performance techniques. I use circuit bent instruments, and Chris will explain what he does. <laughs> Stop shaking my uh, <laughs> Gesticulating <laughs> with the mic. <laughs> Could you uh, do your intro one more time? Okay. <laughs> so you've rehearsed it there. Yeah. Uh, hi, my name's uh, Stuart Smith. I'm from a company called Bathosphere. And uh, I'm here with Chris as part of our act called Threep. And uh, we've spent a lot of the week rehearsing and working on um, various control interfaces. And my brain's gone dead. Okay. Could you do and yours? Chris, could you do yours? Hi, I'm uh, Chris Cousin. Um, I'm here as part of Threep, which is our one of our studio, one of our projects, um, and we're working on our live performances, uh, developing new instruments. Mine's based on in the computer using Maximus P with the physical controllers, and <coughs> using my voice as a sound source and a, a modulator for the the synthesis um, patches that I have. And Stu's using circuit bent instruments and uh, home built sequences. Okay, uh, Bathosphere, and I guess what you guys are based in, um, kind of what, I guess maybe the scene in Leicester, mm -hmm. I guess what you guys present. Uh, well, we're from a company called Bathosphere, which is uh, an artist led. Uh, mostly music organisation. We've been running since 2000, and 2000 we incorporated. Uh, we've done various funded projects over the years, um, installation pieces, music performance. We have, uh, we have our own studio based in Leicester. And, uh, we work with a range of um, local artists, uh, generally a lot from De Montfort University, offering career development and artistic development. Yeah. Um, yeah, one, two, testing, testing. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? <coughs> oh, yeah. Do your Bee Gees impression. Okay. I did do um, Bee Gees karaoke in Tokyo once. That was horse. Did you want to add on that, or should I ask you a question? Um, I'm not sure, I guess. Uh, well, if I give you, we c I could give you my spiel, and then you've got both of them. Okay. So we're from a, we run a company called Bathosphere, uh, based in Leicester in England. Uh, we're a music company um, based around a recording studio. We have a record label. Uh, we put gigs and concerts on. Um, we run workshops for artists in the uh, in the region and the city. And we work with a whole range of artists uh, on collaborative projects, so recording together, performing together, or collaborating with artists from other disciplines to do soundtracks uh, for theatre, dance, film, and installations. Cool. And um, can you tell me what time, what you Um, well, I first came to Stein to do a super collider course uh, about two years ago. Um, and I have friends who've been here for residencies. Um, and I guess I'm a studio rat. Um, I've grown up in, from a studio production background, making electronic music. And I had a few various attempts at um, turning studio projects into live performances. Uh, with varied degrees of success, um, but 
mostly I found it very frustrating because I wasn't actually performing, I was just playing back more or less <coughs> studio projects. So um, with our current project, we've been developing our own instruments um, over the last two or three years uh, with a view to being able to actually perform with them, um, to sit and listen and tweak knobs instead of looking at a computer screen. So Stime just seemed like uh, the perfect place for us to come and, uh, and develop our, our live electronic techniques. Um, a great group of people here and lots of input. And just wonderful to have a residency somewhere away from the home so that we can just concentrate on, on the project that we're working on. Yeah, uh, we first came out here, the pair of us, um, as Threep, last uh, December, just before Christmas. Uh, and we came out, uh, we brought someone called David Hindmarch with us, who's uh, he's an electroacoustic composer based in Leicester, and he's blind. And uh, it's quite, quite phenomenal to see him, uh, how he works with software and not being able to see. And uh, we've been what we were working on ideas with him to build uh, a tactile control interface for his software uh, which we spent quite a bit of time um, working on and just sorting out ideas last time we came in, in December and then this, this trip is kind of a follow on from that although David couldn't come this time mm. he, mm. Couldn't, um, <coughs> his, he couldn't bring his guide dog um, and uh, and he, so he doesn't have the papers to bring his guide dog here and he doesn't have anyone he can leave the dog with for a week this time so mm. yeah um, also um, maybe you guys could um, maybe talk about like the guest house and the residency like does it work for you like kind of being so close or is it distracting or like hmm. Uh, yeah, the guest the guest house is really nice. It's really good to have somewhere that's that's close. I mean, it's just it's just around the corner. It's at the back of the building here, and it's it's such a a beautiful city. It's it's kind of nice to come here so you can you can dip in and out of the studio, or you can go off and relax around Amsterdam, or get on a bike and have a good cycle around, and then come back and have a bit of a jam and work on some stuff. It kind of gives you a lot of flexibility. I find that it's that it's close. And it's a, it's kind of it's home for a week basically. It's like home away from home. I do notice that a lot of residents who come kind of um, never leave this block. Is that true <laughs> for you guys? No, uh, I mean as well as spending time here in in the studio and the guest house, we've been out in the city quite a lot and cycled. We hired bikes and cycled around the city, and it's just such a great pleasure to to have time to to s relax so to come in the studio and work for 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 a few hours and then to just be able to go and you know explore the city and then come back when when I'm, when we're refreshed and it's, so it's great for us yeah we despite our uh, appearance we we like to be outdoors <laughs> some of the time <laughs> just to you know get rid of the studio town a bit Yeah, but uh, it's um, yeah, we just slip straight into a, a semi-nocturnal lifestyle within, I think, a day of being here. <laughs> yeah. um, and um, this is your third residency. Oh, uh, this is my third, and and Stu's second. second. Well, I think um, certainly for me, I've um, found and, and worked with some new things here. I found some new synthesis techniques that I've incorporated into my live setup, and I've improved that. And just being able to play every day, um, I think we've found new things. But I've also got a new list as long as this arm of 
more stuff that I want to do that I've thought about while being here. So I think um, uh, these two, tr the three trips that I've had here have, have completely transformed my live performance. Um, but I don't suppose it'll ever be finished. <laughs> and um, I think it would be great to be able to come back in another year's time and, and do some more work. Um, because it's just it's just having this intensive time away from our, in the normal everyday uh, life means you can just go so much further with the work. Um, you know, you can concentrate for long periods of time. And then even when we're not in the studio, we can still stick with the same thoughts to keep them there. And, and so I think uh, that's, that's an amazing thing about coming here. So, yeah. I guess I have two last questions. Um, maybe could you guys discuss the community next part? And maybe, because um, you guys are really involved in it. And I guess is it up and coming? Or is it really established? Or like, how do you feel about you guys as the forefathers of the scene here? Or well, this, the scene in Leicester for electronic music, um, there's, um, well, there's been a sort of, uh, a rolling change of different scenes around electronic music coming in the 90s with dance music and the different genres as they came through and uh, we've been operating there for about 10 years putting gigs on and making music uh, working with different artists um, so and we're an independent company and we tend to put small events on um, more experimental artists or um, left field electronic artists. Um, and then I suppose the other part of the scene there is there's a, a strong music department at De Montfort University who specialise in electroacoustic and electronic music. Um, and, and so there's a, a good group of, of students that come up through the through um, through that, and there's a good group of lecturers there who are, who are involved. So we're kind of two poles, really. We're the we're the sort of scruffy, poorly paid, independents, um, and then there's the slightly smarter, um, much smarter intellectually, uh, much more well paid um, university sector. So sort of more academic, so you know more structured and and so on. Um, and I think in the last two or three years, I would say that there's a real scene for experimental electronic music in, in its different forms, running from more electroacoustic work to uh, dubstep and, and those sort of areas. Um, and there's, a, there's us, um, there's a couple of other promoters, there's a, bit, a group of musicians and pro uh, producers and, and promoters who promoting nights under the name of Stench, which uh, and there's quite a lot of audio-visual work in there as well. So it's, um, I think it's really grown mm. in the last um, three years or so. Getting near a kind of critical mass of enough people to sustain doing those kind of events in Leicester. I mean, it's, it's quite a strange city in the fact that it's very diverse, so th there's, there's quite a big Asian population, a big Afro-Caribbean population, um, a lot of East European there. So to get a critical mass of people to do any kind of one genre of thing is, can be quite difficult. So it's kind of nice having the university there. It's almost like a continuous supply of people who are interested in experimental electronic music, which is, which is great. Well, I'm using the uh, mine's all home-built uh, equipment. It's most well, all pretty much all circuit bent gear. So I've got um, I've got four ten-step sequences running, just analog sequences, and then I've got um, two, three boxes of uh, salvaged electronics from various devices. There's three um, 
Barbie karaoke machines in there, which have uh, really nice crusty four-bit echo chips in them, which have been circuit bent and feedback loops made out of them. So they'll do anything from full-on dirty noise to pulsing tones, white noise, uh, rhythmic effects. Uh, and then uh, I've got a, a small little toy voice recorder, which I'm using kind of like as a lo-fi sampler and uh, a toy drum and a, a megaphone voice changer toy. And then I'm just running that through effects and through a mixer, so I'll be triggering stuff with the sequences or just playing stuff manually on the fly and using the faders on the mixer as sort of like a manual envelope, really. Uh, well, I'm using uh, a laptop. Um, I'm using Maximus P um, hooked up to contro live controllers. And I've got one that I've custom built and a couple of MIDI um, off-the-shelf off the controllers. And um, uh, I've built my own granular synthesis um, processes. I've got three different types of granular synthesis, which I've built using... Um, here comes FTM external objects for Max. And then I'm using my voice both as a sound source for one of those granulators and as um, to modulate the synthesis parameters on the other, other synthesis patches. So cross filtering or doing analysis of my voice, getting pitch, uh, amplitude. Um, spectral analysis of my voice and then mapping those parameters to, to the other synthesis um, patches so um, yeah next step for me is to build a, a is to build a, a much bigger controller with lots more knobs on it and get rid of the cheap crappy, crappy um, MIDI ones that, that because they're just fiddly knobs and very Fiddling. unresponsive yeah mm. they're cheap that's the one that I, well, I say I built, I started building it and Stu finished building it for me. Um, uh, and that's based on a dot for MIDI board. Um, and it's an old wooden cutlery box with lots of different Bakelite knobs, which I collected from eBay, which are from old radios and uh, ham gear, old sort of control gear. So I've got a whole case full of those for my new controller. And, and I'm going to use um, the Create uh, interface boards, which run using OSC, so they've got more resolution. So I had hoped to, well, initially I thought I might um, build the new controller by the end of the residency, but um, uh, that's, I haven't finished my instruments yet, so... That's the sequencer, the big, okay. the big one in the middle. Yeah. yeah, that's the sequencer, and then the two on the outside are uh, they're boxes with various different instruments in them. And then the the black one at the front is that's one of the Barbie karaoke machines rehoused. It's basically just the echo circuit without the the tape deck. So you made the, the three, and then the, then the three. Yeah, yeah, I made all the boxes, and the, yeah, the well. One of them's a prod, just a project box in my shop, and then the others are built from scratch out of wood and polycarbonate sheeting. Do you guys have names for your boxes? Um, uh, the black one, originally I called it the Echo Destructor, because it's kind of, it's like an echo, de echo effect, basically, but it kind of destroys the audio in the process or makes the sound of its own. But I haven't come up with names for the rest of them yet. Okay. Yeah, my, my controller box is called Sherlock, uh, and uh, it's something to do with Sherlock and Holmes, which I haven't worked out yet.
dat dat is ook wat wel je kreeg toch drie kilo je naar een dag. Ze zijn mooi, ze dachten aan dat je ook. Nu mooi van de lief zijn we nu te gene. Aan dat is u ook mooi kreeg. 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 Dat is namelijk de Wang Synthesizer. Jammer dat het weinig bespeeld wordt, want het is, je kunt het ook in stereo spelen. Het heeft heel veel mogelijkheden. Ik zal nu een kleine solo daarop spelen. Een short solo voor de Cheek Synthesizer.
I say what I'm trying to say. I say what I'm trying to say. I say what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say. I say what I'm trying to say. I say. Well. What I'm trying to say, I say, well, well, I say, well, well, what I mean to say, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, that's what I said. I said, that's what I meant, that's what I said, that's what I meant, that's what I said, I said, well, well, that's what I said, well, well, that's what I tried to say, well, that's what I said, well, well, that's what I mean. That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. Well, that's what I meant to say. That's what I tried to mean. That's what I meant to try. That's what I meant to mean. That's what I said. That's what I meant. That's what I tried. That's what I said. 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 Trying to say what I'm trying to say. 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 Well, well, you know what I mean. I mean, you know what I mean. That's what I said. That's what I meant. That's what I tried. That's what I meant to try. That's what I said to me. To try, 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 to try. That's what I said. That's what I meant. That's what I tried. That's what I said. That's what I meant. That's what I tried. That's what I said. That's what I meant. That's what I said. Well, you know what I said. I say. I say. You know what I said. I say. I say. You know what I said. I say. I say. You know what I said. I say. I say. You know what I said. Well, well, well. That's what I said. 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 That's what I tried to say. That's what I tried to say. Art and pop. Ah, that's what I said. That's what I was saying. That's what I tried to say. Oh, play. Ah, that's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I tried to say. That's what I tried to say. Well, that's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I tried to say. 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 That's what